everybody, it's Louise here, and I wanted to share with you my finished TNs that I did. I um, used my own digital kit. Let me pull it out here. Mixed in with this, but let me... Ugh, hold on. Alright. So, this kit is a digital file that you can purchase on my blog, which is called... KSPByLuisa.blogspot.com. I'll put the link down below. It's called the coffee shop, and I killed most of it. <laughs> I didn't get to use all this stuff, but I will put it away for more projects in the future. Um, I used pretty much everything, and the only thing that I still have, and I put in my planner, is the stickers that I created using this particular sheet so that's in my planner and I think what I'm gonna do also is just cut some of these down and throw them into those travelers notebooks for whoever is going to get these um, so I also mixed it in with this again this has come in handy um, I first when I got this the only thing that I really love was just the couple of pages in here but I kind of use a lot of it like the donut one and then there's one with cups which I don't know I don't think I have any left I think I used it all yep so anyway it's called love you latte love you a latte and it's one of the hot buys from Michaels which I think right now they don't currently have but you can always check and see if they still have some left over and you never know they might bring them back or they might bring one like it with a different name and just different papers so um here they are, and this one is the field note size, and this is the micro size. And I kind of already showed you this one, but I just did like finishing touches. And I did do a tutorial on the pen loop because I had a few people ask me, and it's gonna be like this super shortest tutorial. So what I'm gonna do is add it to this video because I don't like putting up extremely short videos. <laughs> I like long videos. So, if all you want to see is that tutorial, just, you know, move forward. I don't know exactly where it's at, but it will be at the end of this. Uh, I'm just going to attach it to it. Okay. Plus, I don't like to upload so many videos. I'd rather just do one long one. Um, okay. So, and if I, you know, occasionally sound strange or, I don't know, just different, it's because I had a little issue today um, with family. So, it's kind of on my mind, but what's keeping me keeping it off my, my mind was finishing this up and then showing it to you so you know it's distracting me right now so you've already seen this but I did add a few things um, and I really don't remember what so I'm just gonna flip through it again and the cover is made well majority of this I think the whole entire thing as far as this size is made with my digital kit so there is like a cupcake sheet in there and you actually get this in two different formats you get one in an 8 by they're both eight and a half by 11 but one format is um, vertical and the other one is horizontal and it gives you you know more space long ways so that's the part that I use to make this um, it is laminated so I did print the back of it so I didn't have to use two sheets of paper I just used one so pretty much all the images that you see in here are from this kit and I did use the target pockets target pockets like the coveted target pocket you know I had somebody ask me where I got it from after I said it was a target pocket <laughs> um, and right now my targets do not have them so I'm glad that I have picked up quite a bit of them so I did put a um, card in here did do my usual shakers eventually I won't be doing shakers but only because I'm running out of sequence and um, I don't know if I'm gonna order any for a little while because I, I did get a few from like Aliexpress but that is like an eternal wait and I can't stand waiting so here's the first booklet using the white um, booklet from Target and I cut it down and this is one of the papers again which I covered and then I put this other paper in there so and then I added in a clip I like to use larger clips to kind of hold down my pages so I put that in there and then the other side of the shaker is this one here which 
Um, it's an open pocket so you can put in stuff and I threw in one of my cutouts. Oh my gosh, I, have I been in frame? Probably not. See, I'm out of it. So, yeah. Um, these are one of the larger cutouts. I have, I think, six in that kit that you can cut out. And I did print the backs of it so it's finished. And then I made some sleeves for like credit cards and other things, maybe stickers. So in this one I cut a section of the Dollar Tree tape and put it in this pocket here. And then you got the split pockets which I um, added some of my smaller cards which fit in here perfectly. And this says relax and have a cupcake. And then I added the Dollar Tree um, little calendars that they have. Um, it usually comes together with a notepad on the bottom and you actually get four copies of these but you actually have to pull them all out because if you think you're going to pull January and see February you won't you got to pull four of January until you get to February so you do have to pull them all out but that's fine because they're ready I have just inserted a whole set for 2018 in there so here's another divided one and another one here and then oh I put a lot didn't I Huh. Two, four, six, eight divided sections, and then you get two of the bigger ones. And this is another one of the cards which I had cut down to put in there. And then you got your folder, which I tucked in some of those Dollar Tree stickers. And this was double sided, you know, I printed the back. And I'm throwing in whatever I had left over as far as the envelopes and a few of the cutout images here. And when I sell this, it's going to be sold together as a little set with the, both these things. So you have a little set. Okay, so then we have the dashboard that is around the second booklet. Okay, so this is made with the paper and the laminate. And I put some sticky notes in here. And then you got one of the um, like jumbo paper clips that I altered. And then the pen loop with a Dollar Tree pen and I'm not altering this pen because I still think it kind of coordinates because this whole thing is not coffee coffee it's sweets and coffee um, although all these images kind of look the same as far as you know the inserts but I'm throwing in like you know sweet related stuff and then the first book I mean the second booklet which is the lined paper this is those booklets that I found um, from the Dollar Tree that have the puppies on there so I didn't have to cut them down, but all I did was round my corners. I think I had, yeah, I think I did round them. And then I put a, a little paper clip together with these donuts. And actually somebody gifted me these. I believe these were in one of my pocket letters. Because I have a, oh, you know, in the past I did do some pocket letter swaps. And I finally have been going through those pockets and pulling out a few of the things. So these donuts and a bigger one was in one of them. So there is the other side of the dashboard and I left the you know one side white since you know it really doesn't matter if you're going to be putting something in there but that's the back side. So that is the field note size um, traveler's notebook and then here's my micro and I didn't put too much up here um, like that because I like to use mine in my purse and if you put too much then you know it's just going to get caught on stuff and probably get lost. So I did do a little dangle, kind of coordinated the colors and this one um, somehow the pen is within the planner. I don't know how I did that if I made it too long. Oh and I did cut down those target pockets. You can actually cut them down and fuse it. So I cut it on both sides because there is round, rounded corners here. What I did is just trim down on both sides so the width is what I needed here. And then I didn't even peel it off the thing. I went ahead and used my fuse tool and stuck it back together. And now I have a thinner pocket that fits, which is awesome. And then I put my card, which this was my boo-boo card. So, um the first file that I had created when I made this I had a misspell here which I had missed one of the E's and uh, a good you, um, subscriber of mine let me know so thank you very very much and I went and fixed it and sent out the corrected file 
but I did not want to throw this out or reprint it so I took a gel pen and went over and added the E and it kind of looks cool now because coffee is like offset from the rest of the writing so that's what I did with it because I kind of like to work with my mistakes instead of toss them I mean unless there is no working around there um, and then here and they're all kind of stuck together but <laughs> there's donuts that I punched out with a circle punch that come out of that paper pack so I think it was either one inch or slightly smaller circle punch but again they're all stuck in there together hopefully they come apart they're kind of coming apart but I ain't gonna mess with it too much over here in this little book um, planner I decided to use some of the cutouts so I uh, first off I put the washi around and then I put one of my images and then I had punched out with a Tim Holtz um, bow punch out of my paper was it my paper no the paper from the um, I don't even know is it my paper I think it's from the paper pad yeah <laughs> and I just glued it down and then I put a um, flat paper clip here and I added another paper clip that's the back um, this is just a single card stock to make this cover which um, I did cut down and I took off the cover that it came with and just put this one on instead um, and then here's the other side of the shaker which is one of my cards these are about two and a half by three and a half it's like a pocket letter card and it says I'll take coffee without my sunshine wait with my sunshine <laughs> okay now I did a little something with my uh, credit card uh, section that I like to make I did a little something different I wanted to test it out and I think it kind of worked so um, I always use these for smaller pockets um, especially for the micros and you can barely see it but these are protectors they're five and a half by eight and a half and they are from Target so if you turn them this way and you cut your width the four inches um, what you can do is you fold it in thirds and do your um, fusing on those pieces instead of because normally when I make these I just cut four inches this way and then fold this in half and I actually get two sections here right but I wanted to try something different and cut four inches this way made marks by folding it in thirds and then fused in three places right so then what I got from doing that is I got a little flip out <laughs> and what that is is see you open it up and I got two places to put stuff there one place here so this is one section and then over here this flips out and I put two cards in there see and then the next size or the next side is this last one so that actually is kind of cool because you can just flip it out and it's just something different you know not needed but I just wanted to try something different so and then here we have the little folder um, and put some tape put one of my images on the paper now this paper is from the love you latte pad I didn't put nothing in here um, I'm probably going to leave it empty this time because it, it's going to go together with this and you got some stuff with that and then another sticker well not sticker but one of my cutouts and then here is the dashboard for this and I did the same thing now I forgot to mention um, I had a problem I don't know what the heck was wrong with me but when I made the dashboard it was a little too wide so I had to trim off that extra that you get and I was like oh but then it's gonna come apart right because of that hole that um, air pocket it didn't I guess the lamination actually sticks to the paper so it didn't come apart which was awesome and you know since it is a single sheet that I laminated you know there's no pocket inside so it was like perfect and it worked it's not coming apart I guess it's stuck to the, to the paper um, and then I realized um, 
Well, let me see if I cut it off of the cover, which I did. But then I didn't get too much of a ledge there or an edge. So, but it still works. Nothing's coming apart. But I will still leave for the covers. I'm still going to leave that little edge around there. Just this particular one didn't. I didn't do that. I cut it off because I was just like wondering because if I did it to this, oh, why not do it to the other one? Anyway, I put some sticky notes and then here's my uh, Dollar Tree booklet that I cut down to fit. And then I put one of the images again. And then here's another image. I love that. And then a um, light bulb paper clip. And then in the end, I have another one of those pockets. I think it's empty. Yeah. I just threw it in. I figured it'd be cute to have pockets in here for like maybe tucking in a couple of dollars that you want to save, you know, for a rainy day or whatever, or something private that you don't want to show anybody, like maybe your social security card, um, whatever it may be, but you can always take it out. And then another pen holder and a pen. I think it writes red. And this is the other dashboard. So you can add to this. There's plenty of room to grow. And I know with mine, mine got super chunky. I mean, it really filled in. So, yeah. So there it is. Coordinating Traveler's Notebooks. So it's going to be sold together when I do sell this. Okay, I'm not selling it right the second. Because I want to make a few other things and just sell stuff, you know, as a batch. Um, so just stay tuned. So if you want to see that tutorial, it's just really quick. It was about five minutes, I think, to make one of those pen holders. All right. Thank you. Hey, everybody. So I'm about to do like, <laughs> it's going to be like a two second tutorial because this is super easy and quick. And I've had several people ask me on a tutorial on my pen holders using the binder clips although there's plenty of tutorials out there so I really didn't have to do this but I'm going to anyway just because and I'm going to be making one for this thicker pen and you have to make it to size your pen that you're going to use so first off you need some kind of binder clip and make sure that it's at least as wide as your elastic and you do need some kind of elastic the wider the better to hold your pen in place nicely this i find at hobby lobby and i always get them what they're when they're half off and they're found in the ribbon section so this one i thought would go with this great i'm actually not going to alter this pen because i kind of thought it coordinated pretty good with this so i had previously shared this with you and i had put this pen in here but i realized it was just too short and it was going to fit better in the micro so, and this one here is a, a field note size, but it doesn't matter what size your planner is, it just matters this. And again, you could use bigger, or you can use, they have binder clips that are just the same width as the elastic. So, you'll need the elastic, binder clip, a pen, scissors that are not too fat and long because you, you'll see why in a second. And then hot glue, that's all I use, nothing else. Okay, so make sure you have it like this where it's just flat and closed and make sure your glue gun is hot and ready. I Hopefully mine is and you're going to glue the back side in and you're going to glue the very end like a little just enough to cover your metal and if there's fibers kind of flatten them out and then we're going to flip this up over and onto your binder clip and just kind of slip it on and kind of under these little metal things that are holding your these things so it kind of slips under there right so now we have one end and just give it a second now you're going to get your pen pencil whatever it is and you're going to place it in place so against the binder and there now you want to put a little bit of tension just enough that's not going to slip out too much right and then you're going to hold it there but let it go because you want to slide your scissors underneath and kind of follow along this part right there okay so hang on to that get this over and then just slide it under and then snip okay 
Now we're going to take the pin out of the way and glue the other side. Make sure that you have cut that straight. And then glue again. Flip it around and then place it, whoops, place it down and again slide it in. You kind of want to work fast because, you know, the hot glue does dry fast. And just make sure it's all pressed down. You can even open it up and just kind of squeeze it and make sure it's on before you go and place your pen in. Um, so, if all went well, if you got any little fibers showing, just cut them. If all went well, this should slip in and hang on nice. So we're just going to put it on something kind of thick. You don't want it too thin because it'll move around too much. And this is one of my inserts, my book inserts. We're going to place it a little bit higher because I don't want the wraparound elastic to get caught on it. And just bring these down and out of the way. And slip your pen in. So now I have myself a coordinating pen holder. And you see that's why I want to bring it up a little higher so that this doesn't touch this. It doesn't get in the way. And that's it. See how super simple that was? And now I am done. And depending on your covers, if you make a longer cover, you can actually have it cover up. You see how this one, it's not protruding because the cover is actually longer. So I don't mind it showing. You know, that's just preference, I guess. But that's pretty much it. And now I have my pen holders. Alright everyone, that was barely 5 minutes. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.